So we decided, um, we decided on this maybe three or four days ago, and um, we haven't taken the days to basically decide if we even wanted to um, to talk about this or say anything at all. But me and Sophia have decided to take a break um, from each other and a break from her living here and everything like that um and we initially didn't want to um say anything to you guys initially we didn't want to say anything to you guys but ultimately made the decision to say something because i didn't want her to deal with like the harassment from like my community and stuff like that. I don't want like her getting a lot of um, messages and DMs. Um, you know, people asking what's going on or maybe even mad at her or whatever it is. I don't want that to happen. So that's why we're making this video now. And that's also like part of the reason why we're even at this stage in our relationship and doing and deciding to um, take this step. I feel like it's like really difficult when you like meet someone the way that me and Landon did where it was like very organically and like you just automatically have a connection like right off the bat like it wasn't planned it was very random you didn't expect to feel a certain type of Way. It's not like I was like a social media girl and I met him through that. So like we come from the same world and we understand each other. It's just, it was done so organically. I didn't expect to feel the way I did for him, you know, from the get. And I think that there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. And like that is just really, you know, I, I'm sure there's things that are not for him, but like, social media is just really not for me. Like, I have had a lot of, like, considerations, and we didn't even really, like, get together officially for as long as we did because of what he did. Like, that was a main thing and why we did not get together. Like, we, that, you know, I think I've mentioned that before. That was, like, a huge fact. That was, like, the only, really one of the only factors. So... So obviously it's sad and like embarrassing, honestly, to tell you that we technically are breaking up, but I wouldn't say that's the end for us, but we definitely need space to figure out if this is what we want to do. We just really didn't want to make such a rash, big decision without really, really knowing, especially because there's so many things, we're so intertwined at this point. So we just really needed to take some time to think and kind of be in our own little worlds and see what it would be like to really not have each other and kind of go from there. Um, yeah, it's just obviously difficult. And there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes that, you know, people don't see, so. And for me, obviously, like, I feel like our, our lives had gotten and so, like, joined um, that, like, I'm over here dreading, I mean, I was already dreading telling you guys, and now I'm going to go ahead and tell my family who I already, like, they already probably had a picture in their head of, like, my life and me being with her and stuff like that. So, like, I'm obviously dreading telling my mom and my dad and my brother and stuff like that. And that's, like, not at all what I wanted to do today, but that's what I am going to do today. And that's... The part that, like, really sucks, the part that really makes me sad, obviously, is that, like, you know, you picture you picture your life a certain way or you picture things planning out a certain way, but that's not always how um, things that happen for you. Um, I mean, I think it's only fair to kind of discuss why we are making such a big decision and what kind of led to this. And I feel like we've been really open, and I've been also really open with you guys. I feel like... It's important to, like, shed light on what problems are in relationships, like, actual real problems 
problems because maybe you can learn from them. And if you're in something currently or planning on getting into something, you can maybe see, you know, see things from a different perspective and see if it's the right choice for you to get really in deep with this person or to kind of step out. Um, you know, like I said a couple slides ago, a huge thing for me is social media. Yeah, like this is what Landon does from morning to night. I don't think you guys get it. Like he does not put down his phone. It is what he does. And obviously for me, I can't really say I'm private anymore because I obviously have been with him. So I've shared my like life. But if he was not in the picture, I would not be posting who I'm with, where I'm going, anything on a day to day. I randomly post on Instagram and like obviously TikTok I'll do like little stupid videos but nobody would know shit going on in my life. The only reason people know that now is because of him and I feel like that's something I really didn't think too much into like when we decided to just get together I didn't really think of what my day to day would look like obviously being this open with people and like what that means to my mental health and I've really opened myself up to a lot of like criticism and backlash and like the things that people obviously when you put yourself out there there's going to be haters point blank period and like a lot of stuff I've subjected myself to and other people's opinions have really like messed with messed with me and messed with like my good energy and like how much life I normally have it's like really taken a toll on me so I would definitely say that is a huge part um that that's like the biggest part for me and it's created a lot of problems so um i think the whole social media thing has obviously been a challenge and has been tough in the beginning because that was a big thing for us and a big thing for her in the beginning like when we first met like that's not something that she liked or wanted to be a part of it's not where she came from blah 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 and obviously it kind of like once our relationship got better it kind of like <clears throat> she started to open up a little bit and be more open to the idea of doing it um because she knew that like that's what i do every day that obviously she would have to do something like she would have to start helping me some way or being part of it Somehow, that's what I do every day, and we are literally together almost every day, even though she works and does stuff like blah, 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 blah. Uh, <clears throat> and um, it sucks for me because it sucks for me because obviously when you love someone a lot, it's like hard when you're basically almost like making them do something that they don't want to do. And like, you know, you're like putting her in this world, like I was putting her in this world that like was not good for her really. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like, obviously, I don't know, it seems kind of just selfish. And like, it didn't make me feel good seeing someone that I love being upset about things that are coming from me. And that's like, okay, if she wasn't with me, then she wouldn't be dealing with any of these things. She wouldn't be having like the mental health problems or whatever happens and pops up like she wouldn't be having any of these things and episodes because of me and obviously it's like not fair for her and just just not good all the way around I think something for kind of everybody to take as a lesson and like what I've learned from this is there's certain things that you know deep down in your heart that you don't want to compromise on and like, don't put yourself in a position to compromise something that you don't want to compromise on. And this doesn't mean that the person you're with is a bad and a horrible person. It's just, I feel like people are like puzzle pieces. Like you got to find the right fit. Like the, you know, I don't think you need to force things. I don't think you need to make yourself try feeling good about something that you just don't feel good about, that you just don't want to partake in or that you don't want to do. And I honestly kind of feel bad because I feel like I didn't really know until I tried and I had to go through all of this to get to this point. So it's kind of difficult because part of me is like, I should have never compromised, but then part of me was like, it's like, it's worth trying, you know? So I don't know. I guess that's kind of my advice that I would give. Um, I think the only positive thing that comes from this 
for me or something I can look at and be somewhat, you know, happy about is that um, that we're able to like come together and obviously like still be cordial and talk to you guys and decide on doing this together and making the thing together and like kind of help each other um, through the process. Because um, obviously I'm not used to that. I'm not used to uh, like this type of situation. So that's one thing I could say that at least that at, at the core we're good friends. So and we've always been good friends. We've always had a good relationship in that aspect so that we are able to do this. Um, and there is no hard feelings. Um, there's no anger. The last thing I want to leave you guys with um, is that I am very thankful for the love that, that you did show our relationship and all the good times and the good moments and the positive things that came from us being together on, you know, on here with my community. Um, just thank you guys, period, for that. Yeah, and I mean, like, there's been so many people who've been so sweet, and um, it did allow me also to, to like, talk about things I'm really passionate about and that I like, like advocating for, so I'm very appreciative of that and the support that I did get from a lot of you guys. And, yeah, I mean, like we said, like, we're taking a break and we don't really know where this is gonna go. Um, but I'm very thankful.